all the indicators that you can add to a report. So this is a simple report. You have your product category and the total sales amount. Mm -hmm. If I do a preview of this report, I get my product category over here and I get my total sales amount as well. So I'm going to go back to my design view. And first I'm going to format this column to two decimal uh, places. So I click text box properties, number, number, and decimal places too. Okay, and let's do a preview now. So we have two decimal places. Now based on these total sales amount that we have, we want to uh, see some indicators that across which product categories we have good sales amount and across which uh, categories we are not having as good the sales amount. We can add some indicators. To do that, let's first add a column over here. So insert column, sorry. Let's delete this. Right click on this, insert column, right. And then you can choose the option of indicator, which is present in your toolbox in the report items. And you can just drag and drop it within the column. Once you drag and drop it, you have all these options to choose from. So you can choose an indicator of the arrows. You can choose this sign as well. Let's choose this for now and say, OK. OK, now just click on this over here. And uh, a dialog box called the gauge data will appear in which you have to specify that on which value you're basing this indicator. So we'll select the value of the total sales amount, the so sum of total sales amount, OK? And now let's do a preview. So you can get all these values over here. So this is in green. Bikes has the largest sales amount. Clothing and accessories do not compare to the sales amount of the bikes. That's why they are in red. Now how has this decided on these arrows and what values, based on which values it would show as up as green and which values it would show negative as red. So if you click on this, Okay, you'll see your indicator values and so on. So right click and go to indicator properties. In the indicator properties, if you go to values and states, you will see that it has taken the percentage states measurement unit as percentage. So it creates a percentage of the total sales amount and then for the individual categories, what are the sales amount? It creates a percentage of those sales amount for each category over the total sales amount for all the categories. And if that if that value lies between 0 and 33%, it will show it as red. If it lies between 33 and 66%, it will show it as this yellow line. And if it is more than 66% of the total sales for all the categories, it will show it as a green line. So you can either change these or you can change this to numeric and pass some numeric values. Okay. So if you're sure of the numeric figures, you can pass some numeric values as well. So let's change it to 0 to 5. And this will be your uh, 5 to 66 then. Say OK. And now let's do a preview. So this is still red because this is too less than this value of the bikes. OK. So this is how you can change. Just right click, go to indicator properties. Go to values and states and change your percentages over here. And based on your percentages, you will uh, see your icon. Or you can change your icons as well. So now let's say we want a different icon for this. We want this to be like this and this. So you can change it individually as well. OK. OK. Do a preview. OK, so this will again make it uh, more available to the user. If you add your columns, your indicators like this, OK, it will immediately come to the attention of the user that this column, this uh, category is performing better than the others, or this category is performing uh, 
uh, worse than the others. So you can compare the performance using this indicator column as well. 